back to my channel. My name is just a fun guy, and today on Open RCT2, I've decided to work on my own version of a mega coaster. This is my mega coaster. I wouldn't disappoint you people, and shame on you if you believe my lie. But this is my coaster, and actually, before I start it. I want to get some good b-roll here. Take a look at how large it is. And it's large, but it's simple. 99.9% .9 of this coaster is, well, let me show you just from a, let's say I want to start on a new one. Most of what this coaster is, is a chain lift hill up and down but a lot of times over and this coaster goes a little faster than you think it's giga coaster it goes around the round the uh, coaster once it is 255 mile an hour chain lift speed it's got a color scheme of a red yellow and green, kind of like a ketchup mustard relish type. And you want to know what? I should make the train color the same way. Of course, mechanics would inspect it. That would be huge. And, uh, there's really not much to show and tell other than all that, so let's do this coaster. And get started with testing this mega coaster. There will be no, absolutely no way I would be able to follow the train with my own two eyes. So you see on this big blown up window here, I will put it on train one as I put it on test mode. Here it goes. And you can see it kind of following along. Up the first hill, second hill. And you can see it maintains relatively good speed. You might think it's long and boring, but I'm going to keep the spell to the uncut.
my ride is ending here, I want to show you. I actually want to tell you why I chose the Giga Coaster. As you can see here, I obviously used cheats. And of course I would because it's open RCT2. And you don't download open RCT2 and uh, not use the cheats. That's just what they're there for. But I decided to use the Giga Coaster because even without cheats, it's capable of hills over 300 feet. And they're very smooth too. So it's a smooth uphill and smooth downhill. But uh, that doesn't stop it from turning you into a human milkshake. Let's take a look at the stats, shall we? Go into the time. It says maximum speed 286 miles per hour. Average speed of 192. Ride time is 4 minutes and 12 seconds. Ride length is 27,343 feet. Total air time is 28.76 seconds. 60 drops and a highest drop height 580 feet. Now let's get on to the G's. The G's are what turn your insides into goob. Maximum positive vertical G's and negative vertical G's are 12 and 8. Maximum vertical G's are 19. You would probably be, you would uh, be conscious in the very start, and it's probably when you go down the first hill you start to black out, and you won't remember a single thing until you're at the brake section when the jolt wakes you up. But the funny thing is, is intensity and nausea are also extreme, and the excitement rating is at medium. That's the reason I chose the Giga Coaster, is because my excitement rating has a chance because of how smooth the hill is. Well, it's just a little taste in my mega coaster called the Bullet Coaster. As you can tell, it's huge. And it's just about a million. just costs, I think, $934,000 to make. Because before I added money myself, it said it was $934,000 and some odd change. Expensive, large, impractical, perfect for a relative to Tycoon 2. And if you, if you have the regular game, you don't have open RCT2, I highly recommend it because the cheats are fun to play with. And there is so much more potential to this game than there ever was in uh, the original. But uh, I'm getting off topic here. And before I start, this video was an hour long, I'll be rambling. I just want to say, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. My name is Justifunga, and I'm signing off. So long, YouTube.